This offense I'm going to show you guys today is going to help you dominate here in Madden 22. What's going on YouTube? This is professional Madden player T. Davis and today we're breaking down one of the most popular, one of the most dominant, one of the most effective, one of the greatest offenses here in Madden 22. We are in the Kansas City Chiefs offensive playbook and they've added so many new plays to this bunch tight end formation. The Chiefs never even had gun bunch tight end before until Madden 22. They gave them the gun bunch tight end and they added some new plays. We're going to break that all down in this video. Of course, as you guys know, PA boot over was so good last year and it might even be better this year. There's so many different ways you can set up the PA boot over. They've got the triple outplay, which I already broke down on my channel. You can check out as well. They also have X spot, slip screen, mesh, the RPO alert inside zone, which is fabulous as well. So many different plays in this formation. We're going we're gonna to break it all down right here on this video. If you guys do like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. I have so many Madden tips and content. I have fantasy football content, all type of stuff here as we head into the NFL season, Madden 22, NFL season here in 2021. I'm super excited. The fall is one of the best times of the year for me. So check out all my content down below in the links in the description. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I have coaching. I have eBooks. But that's it for the intro, guys. You, I ran through all my stuff. You guys get it. Check out the links in the description below if you want more. Let's get right into the video today. We're breaking down the Kansas City Chiefs, one of the most dominant offensive uh, mini-schemes here in the game in Madden 22, the gun bunch tight end. Let's get it. All right, YouTube, here we go. We're taking a look at the Gun Bunch tight end, one of the most popular formations in Madden 22. The Kansas City Chiefs playbook, of course, added some new plays to it, which makes it so dominant here. That's why it's one of the most dominant uh, main schemes in the whole entire game. We're going to break it all down right here in this video. Of course, when the Chiefs playbook, like I said, you want a lot of speed at the receiver position for this. We have Hardman in there. Uh, let me go to it. We have Hardman in the slot. We have Tyree Kill, or we have Hardman on the inside, Tyree Kill on the slot. Then we have Callaway on the outside, but really the outside receiver doesn't really matter. Try to get your fastest guy possible. Of course, Travis Kelsey at tight end. So the plays we're going to take a look at in here are, of course, Triple Out, which I broke down an entire video already on my channel. You can check out. I will link it below. Check out that Triple Out play. Great money play. So we don't need to get into it too much because I already have a video on it, but we'll go through it. RPO Alert Bubble. The only bunch tight end in the game that has this play uh, in this Chiefs bunch tight end. So check out that RPO Alert Bubble, which we'll go over it too. We have X spot, um, of course, uh, a great play again. Flood concept can also beat man-to-man -man coverage inside zone. As you guys know, the inside zone from bunch to end is absolutely juiced. You know, we don't need to break down the inside zone too much. Obviously, you guys know how good that is. PA boot over, which is what we're going to start with, is you know by far um, one of the best plays in the game year in year out. Last year was so good, probably the best play in all of Madden 21, right? Last year and this year, it is phenomenal again. And there's so many ways we can run it. We're going to break that all down. I love Mesh as well. Mesh is a great play. Curl flat corner and, of course, a slip screen. So let's go through a couple of these plays. First, we're going to start with the PA boot over. I'm just going to run random defenses because there's a million different ways that you can set this play up, right? So um, we'll kind of go through. Me, I'll, I'll try to go as quickly as possible even though there's so many ways to set it up. So the first one here is all you have to do is put your 10 on a delay fade, right? That's the first thing I like to do. Um, delay fade, so dominant last year, Madden 21. Good again this year. That's really all you have to do for this first simple setup. Put the tight end delay fade, hike it, go ahead and cancel the play action, maybe roll out a little bit, release your tight end about here, and as you see there, we have B on the crosser wide open. So one of these crossers is always going to be wide open on the sidelines, and if not, you have your tight end, you can release him uh, at the last second on the delay fade. So you see here, I'm going to release the tight end. I'm going to check it over to him. The user really never guards that tight end delay fade. That's what makes it so deadly because most of the times, you know, the user is going to run with, with Tyree Kill on that deep crosser because that route is so good. Sometimes even B, allowing that tight end uh, delay fade to get open for us. You see here, this time we're going to have Tyreek on that deep crosser. I wish I threw that a little bit sooner, but that deep crosser, of course, is absolute money uh, in Madden. We'll do this setup one more time here. Roll out. We're going to go ahead and release Travis again. And this time we get another six to eight yards easy right there. I think I had Tyreek Hill deep over the top as well. So that's the simple one. Now, let me let me go to this RPO alert bubble because they're in a quarter three deep. There's really literally no point to pass on that. You see the RPO alert bubble so good. And we'll get that. We'll get to that in a second. I just want to get them out of a, a, a different defense. So now the second one I like to do is keep that 10 delay fade, right? Put him on that delay fade just like this. And I like to put my running back on an in route. These running back in routes are absolute money here in Madden 22. I'm telling you guys, if you're running a shotgun formation, get your running back on some ins and out routes. They're going to get open versus zone, underneath zones. They're going to beat man-to-man -man coverage. They are absolutely deadly, and I love it because it's going opposite side of all these crossing routes. 
So you're going to be able to hit either sideline for an easy completion. So let's go ahead and run it here. You see here, look at all the space our running back gets out there in the backfield. The flats just don't even cover it. We're able to get a one-on-one -on -one situation over there, make a juke move, and pick up, about, pick up about 15 yards. But we had about an easy, um, you know, five, if that, or five to seven yards easy in the backfield. You see it again here. The flats just don't cover these halfback in routes. Um, absolute, a quick, easy little dot. Don't even have to overthink it. We'll look at it again one more time here. You see it again. Running back goes to the flats out there. All the zones go back because of the deep crossers. We're able to just check it down to a running back. So say, you know, say they start to use it. They man that running back up. That's when, you know, it gets open to the left, but we have all our routes open on the right. You see here Tyreek Hill once again deep down the sidelines. So we have crossers going to the right. We have our running back going to the left. And remember, don't forget, we still have our tight end delay fade if, you know, if shit breaks down, as we'll say here on the channel. <laughs> but... Um, once again, the running back wide open uh, out of the backfield. So that's pretty simple. Now, a couple other setups I like to do here is I like to put my tight end on delay fade most of the time. Sometimes we're going to streak him as well to kind of bring the zones back. But I like to put him on that delay fade. And then I like to put my running back on an out route now. And then the option is yours. You can slant either X or B, either one. I'm going to go ahead and do X just to keep that B crossing route as well. But you can slant either one and then motion it over to the right. And you're going to create the slant cross or combo. You also can have these underneath routes as well if you need to. And we're getting a little pressure here, but you see there, we're going to have that slant wide open beating his man. I just had a little bit of an overthrow there. I was getting pressure, so I had to kind of get rid of the ball. We'll do it again here. Put that X receiver on a slant, running back on an out route, tight end delay fade, motion over the slant. We're going to have, we're going to kind of stress the middle of the field, right? We're going to stress the user over the middle. They're going to have to choose a route. And we have three crossing routes to choose from which makes it so deadly uh, uh, for the offense. Same thing again here. Let's do it one more time with this setup. Just like that. Motion over the slant. Looks like we have man coverage here, and that slant should get open. Even gets open, and that's only Antonio Callaway, and he's beating Tredavious White. So you know these motion slants are absolute money versus man coverage. Now, the only other final setup, or actually there's two more setups that I'll kind of break down. One is you can streak your tight end, right? I like to do that. And then I'll kind of put my running back on the out route and use the motion. The streak is just there to, if it's covered two, sometimes you can throw it to him. But, oh, I meant to put him on a slant. There we go. The streak is there just to bring the zones back, right? That's really all it's for. See there, we get a, you get, we're getting a lot of pressure. We had everything wide open right there. But that streak is there to bring the zones back, allowing that deep crosser to get wide open. And that crosser is usually going to get open regardless. That's why you don't really need the streak, in my opinion. The delay fades a little bit better. But, you know, sometimes you can put him in there as a decoy to kind of allow this Y route to get open. You saw there, those, those, those DBs are just running straight back with the tight end, allowing Tyreek Hill to get, uh, you know, wide open on the sidelines. And then the only other setup that I like is this one right here. I put the running back on the out route, tight end delay fade, and then I like to backside here and do a curl flat combo. It's great versus zone. It's going to kind of sit down versus zone. If you have Gunslinger, the, the curl route with a low pass is good versus man as well. I like to motion him out just a few steps just like that. And you'll see here we're going to be able to throw it to him when he sits down. Ah, I made the wrong read right there. I had, He kind of wasn't in the hard flats. So let me try that again here. So you put him on a flat, X on a curl. And we're always looking for Y, of course, right, deep down the field. But if not, this is kind of our last resort. Looks like we have man coverage here. I mean, that's just wide open. Obviously, you take what the defense gives you. Always be smart with your reads and your decision making. Let's do it again here. Let's see if they play a little zone coverage on me at all so I can kind of throw this backside curl. And they don't, so I'm going to throw it to my crosser as usual there. And Mahomes throws it out of bounds with the crosser you saw. Once again, uh, just getting wide open down the field. Let's see now if we can do it here. Looks like we have man coverage here. So sometimes, like, versus man, you can low pass that, right, and click on. If you have Gunslinger, that's going to make it even better. Um, to make a read out of it. I'll do it one more time here. It looks like we have man coverage again, though we do. Oh, no, this time we have cover two. Cover two, I mean, that's all day long, deep down the sidelines. So you guys get the point. We're always looking for that deep crosser, but sometimes you can throw backside to that curl flat combo, but there's a million different ways you can set up this PA boot overplay. Let's jump into the next one. Next play we'll take a look at is the triple outplay. And, of course, like I said, I broke this down already on my channel, so I'm not going to go too in-depth uh, versus it, but it's my favorite versus cover two. Uh, it's my favorite versus cover two. And you can do it a bunch, versus a bunch of different things, though. Um, and there's multiple different setups you can do as well. Like I said in the video, of course, I like to streak Y. My running back on a little out route like this. And this is going to be a nice little cover two beater here to the left. Um, you're going to have one of these routes. This looks like it's man coverage, though, So, but it doesn't matter. We're going to have Tyreek Hill. Oh, we had Tyreek Hill on a streak for a touchdown, but I got pressured. 
same thing here. It's just streak wide, put the running back on an out route. All you really need to do, you see, the, like I talked about, these little out routes are absolute money versus pretty much every coverage in the game. So that's always kind of your little first, uh, you know, resort. First read. Let's go ahead and do it again here. This time we might have cover two. We're going to have B wide open. You see how good this route is. And Mahomes is making a lot of bad throws here today in practice mode. But you saw how wide open that B route is. This time, looks like we have man coverage. I'm going to just throw it to Kelsey. That's easy all day of that in route to Kelsey. So this play, like I said, it's best versus cover two, but it also can beat every coverage in the game, especially man coverage as well here. This time, we're going to play a little zone, and Mahomes is a little low, uh, slow with it, but we still get it out there. So that sometimes that little underneath out route, too, is nice, too. It's a little check down, a little thing in case they, in case they blitz you. Once this time we're gonna have B again here. If I can get the pass off, I can't. B was wide open on the sideline, so that corner route is money uh, versus cover two. Like I said, this time they're bringing a little pressure on me, so I'm checking it down to the running back. So a lot of different options out of this play. Like I said, if you guys want to see how to really break this down, check out the video on my channel. Um, it's called one of the best uh, plays to beat cover two. I will link it for you guys as well. But let's jump into the next play. All right, now let's take a look at the RPO Alert Bubble. It's one of the best new plays, the coolest plays added to Madden 22. A lot of fun here to use. You know, of course, we, the inside zone we already talked about is so good, but when you add in a bubble to go with it, makes it even deadlier. And right here, you know, you're reading that the numbers on the left side here. I have a three-on-two situation. Uh, it looks like here, you see the safety's a little far back. So I have two blockers on two blockers out there. A hat on a hat, right? A body on a body. Hard one should be wide open in the flats for that screen. So when you see something like that, you don't need to think twice. I'm going to go ahead and get it out there to Hardman, my speedster. Make sure I follow the blocks. Kind of got a bad animation to start there, but I still pick up positive yards. And that's what the good thing about this play is. It is always positive yards this time. I'm going to go ahead and hand it off up the middle. And that's that's what I'm saying. Like You're never going to lose yardage. Uh, on this type of play it's just so good this time i see three on three so i'm gonna use, i'm gonna hand it off to the running back here um if i saw something like that with the cds in the box so i'd probably go ahead and audible to a pass for sure but you're just reading the numbers over there once again they have a lot of guys over there i'm gonna go ahead and hand it off i should have a hole up the middle if i can get some blocking nice little six yard gain so that's all, all i'm looking for if i have the numbers out there i'm throwing it out there if i don't i'm gonna hand it off i have the numbers out here again the linebackers lined up a little bit inside so I'm going to go ahead and check it out there. It's basically like a run call, right? It's basically just a, a positive yards. So you're going to get five at least yards on. You can sometimes break it into a big one. Once again, I have the numbers. Pass it out to Hardman. Easy, easy. Now I get a big play out of it. Make a little guy, make a guy miss with Hardman's speed. And you can turn these into huge plays. Um, one last time here. I got the numbers again. I'm going to get it out there to Hardman. This time the safety made a pretty good play, but it's still two to three yards uh, easy right there. So one of the easiest play calls in the game, one of the funnest, and a great addition here to this Chiefs bunch tight end. All right, guys, and finally, let's take a look at X-Spot. I just want to point out that X-Spot, Mesh, Curl Flat, Corner, these are all pretty similar, right? They're going to be great versus cover two. They're going to be great flood concepts. Um, so, uh, you know, we don't need to go deep into them, but as long as there's a corner on the play, get some underneath routes, it can be a deadly play. But I love this X-Spot play. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's pretty much set up stock the way we want it. I'm just going to put X. Two things you can do. You can put X on a streak to create that uh, flood concept there on the left side. And I put, always put the running back on an out road, of course. But you can also put X on a slant in case it is man coverage. It's going to kind of delay the defense so that flat will get open usually to Hardman. So you can either do a slant or a streak, whatever you prefer. We've got a nice little sharp corner out to Hill there. Let's go ahead and run it. You see there, they, they play back. We just check it down to Hardman in the flats all day long for an easy completion. Get that speed out in the open field. Same thing here. Let's go ahead and put them on a streak. This time, I'm going to check it down to my running back on the out route. Those routes are automatic like we've talked about. Easy four to five yards. And if they do play man coverage, which they might be here, Kelsey or the slant is going to get wide open. And you see there, look how wide open that slant is. Um, and that's not even a great runner. That's Callaway, and we're able to take that to the house. So versus man coverage, you're looking for that slant tight end, uh, that little double move by the tight end. Those are really good versus man coverage. And then, like I said, versus zone, you're just kind of reading the defense, looking for these flood concepts. And you see the other corner out uh, gets right behind the zones. Looks like they had hard flats there. Easy read. So that's kind of how you're, that's how you're kind of making your progressions uh, for this play. Same thing here. You can low pass the slants once he kind of gets by the linebacker. So these slants with the out route out of the running back, those are good floods as well. Uh, Verse zone coverage. One more time here. Let's take a look. We're going to have our slant wide open for a big play. So 
uh, X spot mesh. These are really good plays you can add in as well to go. I, I would say PA boot over by far the best play in the formation, just because you can run it so many different ways. Mix in the RPO alert bubble, mix in triple out, mix in curl flat mesh. Don't forget the slip screen as well. You guys know I love slip screens to add into the offense, and of course here with X spot, so it creates one of the most dominant schemes here in Madden 22. This Chiefs bunch tight end formation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to go ahead and give it a like. Comment down below if you've been messing with the Chiefs playbook. Let me know any other plays in the whole uh, playbook that you like let me know in the comments down below of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel we're bringing all the fire content i don't know if fire is a word but i like it we're bringing all the fire from madden 22 appreciate you guys man until next time your boy t davis is out